Good morning, Motai. The past few days we've been speaking about some of the halachot of Borer, selecting on Shabbat, and the ease with which a person can transgress it if not properly informed. So, there's a famous machloket of Ronim with regards to a solid, a solid food that falls into a liquid and floats on top, whether removing that will constitute Isur Borer or not. Famously, the Maharitats, Rabbi Yom Tov Tzahalon, who uh, lived about one generation after Manan Abit Yosef, also Michach Mitzvat, he writes that it's permissible. He writes several reasons why it's uh, permissible. He says, especially since it's Nikar, when he, the question that he was asked is if a, let's say a fly, falls into a cup of wine or a cup of water and it's floating on top. He says that's not really considered a mixture. It's floating on the top. It's easily discernible on its own. And therefore, he says, Borid does not apply to it. He famously says, he says a pun, says, En Borid Balach Vetasir Ashallah. He says there's no bored by liquids and you can throw away the, in case you have a poisonous wasp in your, uh, in your cup. Anyway, so that's with regard to that. Many Achronim disagree with him. Many. Nevertheless, many of the great Chachmes Farad did agree with him. The Sefer Etz Chaim, written by Ma'ari Chagiz, Rabbi Yaakov Chagiz, also agrees. He says, after you take out the fly from the cup, it's not more barud than before. It's not more selected than before. And therefore it's mutar. Maran Tzachon Baracha also says, La Lacha, you can rely on these post scheme. It's better just to make it a little bit easier in order to be yotzei kol He says if there's, let's say, a fly or a crumb that's floating on top of a liquid, he says the best thing to do is to take a spoon when you remove that thing from the top of the liquid, take a little bit of the liquid as well, so you will gain another shita of the post scheme that since he took a little bit of the other item as well, that it doesn't, it doesn't constitute um, it doesn't constitute burim. So the same thing applies, by the way, if a person, let's say, is squeezing uh, a lemon into a liquid, that's a different story altogether, but according to Marana Shulchan Aruch, that squeezing lemon into liquid is perfectly mutar. Let's say a person squeezed lemon into tea, and one of the lemon pits fell into the tea, and he wants to remove it. Same halacha, if it's floating on top, it would be perfectly mutar to remove it from the cup of tea. On the other hand, if a person squeezing lemon onto salad and some of the pits fell inside, over there, that's a totally different story. That's considered psolet mitoch ochel, and removing the pits from a salad, on the other hand, would be considered isud de oraita mamash of Boresi. You have to be very, very careful.